So, Shikal, uh, welcome to Nishkam TV. Uh, today we have a special guest with us. And it's my honor and privilege to introduce this guest because I know this guest from, let me do counting, uh, 88, 12, 19, 31 years. Yes, 31 years. And he was my classmate. But I know his depth of knowledge about every topic, but especially about Sikhi. <laughs> He's with us today and we're going to go into depth to talk about some topics about Sikhism, about origin of few things. Actually, I'm not supposed to interview this thing. This show is supposed to be hosted by Karen. I think she's gone to get some samosa or something. Oh, it looks like she's here. I all the things you just said because I'm supposed to be doing it. Actually. Oh, I thought I was doing a good job. <laughs> really? Nishkam TV is a kids run TV channel. I've been kicked out. But I'll see you on the other side. Here is Bindar Uncle for you. Hello, the Bindar Uncle. Um, so, as Harbal Dibangal just said, you are very knowledgeable about Sikhi. So, can we start talking about the origins of Sikhi? Sure. So, how would you define Sikhism? Okay, so how do I define Sikhism? So, before I try to go into the definition, let me put a disclaimer. Because usually when you're trying to define something bigger than you, it's always challenging. It's the same way like Guru Nanak Sahib tells in the Japji Sahib when he's trying to define God that, you know, it, it is hard. It's not easy. So for me, defining Sikhi is hard. It, it is not easy. But again, I can definitely, you know, I have been, you know, I even learned my Gurmukhi from, from reading Japji Sahib. So I have been involved from the age of six or seven. So, so I have, you know, again, I have certain, I have read some books and, and I, I can sh I'm willing to share my, my knowledge. But let's, uh, so, so when we say, let's define Sikhism, I generally try to call it a Sikhi because Sikhism is a word of that the, uh, when we, the, the British gave to us, they converted it, but the original word, the original word is Sikhi, Sikh and Sikhi. So you can see it from two perspectives. One is the literal meaning, Another is the spiritual meaning of Sikhi, right? So it, it is the same thing like we say, what does this mean in the, la in the latter and in the spirit? So the first part is literal meaning is easy. So it comes from the word Sikh. Sikh is original from the, shi from the Shishya word in Sanskrit, which literally means student or a disciple. So, and what is Sikhi? Sikhi is something what, what a student practices is Sikhi. So that is Sikhi. So, so to me that if, if I say I am a Sikh, that means I am saying I am a student. I am a student of Guru Nanak's philosophy. I am a student of spiritual learning. And I am a student forever, for all my life. So if, if at moment I stop learning, I stop seeking, that is the moment, then I am not a Sikh. Other than that, you know, I know people call, you know, this is, this is not Sikhi, this is not, I don't believe in any of them to me that, you are a Sikh as long as you are, you are seeking, as long as you are learning, you are willing to go ahead. So that is Sikh and that is Sikhi. So, and then the, then the word is then the, even Guru Nanak put in his own words, he says, Sikhi, Sikhya, Gur, Vichar, Nadri, Karam, you know, so, Lagai, Paar. So Guru Nanak, he says that, that Sikhi, Sikhya, Gur, Vichar. He said, what is Sikhi? Sikhi is that something learning. That, 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 that you take learning from your guru, from your teacher, and then you do a bichar, you do a discussion on it. Because when you do a discussion, then you learn more about it. So, it, so again now coming to, so that is what, that is what the, what the literal meaning of Sikhi. Now, if you're coming into the deeper meaning of Sikhi, spiritual meaning, so that is kind of, that is even harder. So to me that the Sikhi, I can even tell you what my perspective is. So, so to me that Sikhi is a, it's a way of life. Sikhi is not one end goal. It is not, it is not one philosophy. It is the way of life. It is not just that, that you go to every Sunday, you go to Gurdwara and you, and you, or you, you do a couple of Langar Seva and you say, I'm done for the week. Now we'll see next week. Then I go back to your normal life. So, so Sikhi is the way that we have to live it. 24 by 7, that, that, is, that is what Guru Nanak's philosophy is that you, you learn it, 
there, then you practice it in your own life, then you do it in, in, in other life. So to me that it's best to compare Sikhi when you, you go to you, you go to you go to high you're in high school or I'm in high school. So you you're in you're in high school and, and, and you're saying somebody asks you what do you do? You're a student, right? At some point you will probably finish your school and college and then you won't be student anymore. But imagine if you're a student all the time, you're always learning and at always you're learning new things. So then as a school, you know, then we will we can get other discussion. Your school has the things main thing is school has the cafeteria and a lot of other things but the main thing of the school is the learning you learn there and then you practice it in in, in your life right so so your learning is if, if you say you're a science student you're you're learning about what scientific approach is but you come back then you talk about some superstitions and all that something happens then then you are not applying the knowledge same way Sikhi, if you learn about some something in the gurdwara or wherever then if we don't apply it, then it is not Sikhi. So, so, so Sikhi, it is not an end goal, it's a way of life, you know, that, that we have to embrace it as, as, as it is, you know, that, that is where, you know. Uh. Okay, so thank you. Um, how did Sikhism come into, oh, how did Sikhi come into being? Again, can you explain your question, how? So, like, how was it started? How was it started? So, so we all, uh, so depends on, so Guru Nanak was born in 1469. So, I mean, to me, you can, again, a little bit, little bit deviate there. So some people can consider it, okay, Sikhi started the day Guru Nanak was born. You know, again, that is sometimes perspective. Other people say, like, I, I try to believe that because he was born in a, into, into a Hindu family. But then when he was 10 year old then there was an initiation process of hinduism the, the generally the initiation process start with wearing the sacred thread called his name so that is when guru nanak questioned the value of it guru nanak refused to wear his name okay and that itself is a is a, is a long story you know I, I won't go into the details but to me that that is the day then the sikhi started because he openly declared that i am not willing to accept the current philosophies Right, so that is when that is the when when that is you can say, 1479 when Guru Nanak was 10 year old. That to me is is is, is when the when I consider it as as the Sikhi started. So what was happening in the world when Sikhi was started? What was society like then? Okay, well you ask it what's happening in the world. So let's let, let you're talking about 15th century. So let, let let let's talk about what was happening in the Americas, in the North America, South America. You know that they were pretty much they were not really quite discovered uh, columbus discovered america in 1492 so they were just being discovered before that these americas were pretty much disconnected from the rest of the world europe asia they they had the trade for centuries so there wasn't nothing happening in the in the new world and in europe what was happening is that around that time so the european civilization they came out of what they call dark ages where you know that almost 800 to you know hundreds of years then then in the european in, in the name of the religion and all they have killed hundreds of thousands of people that's that's that, that's a different story though uh, so they they called age of discovery that is when colonization of the world started that's the european thing so what was when Sikhism was started that was the renaissance period of, no uh, they called age of discovery age of exploration yes. yeah yeah, I think before Age of Discovery, it was Renaissance again, I'm not sure. I thought they also called it Dark Ages since because of some, some connotations. And at that time, if you know Turkey, modern Turkey, the, it was the center of the Ottoman Empire. Istanbul was like the New York City, everyone wanted to go there. So, but back in, back in India, so India itself is a, was a huge country. It was not a one country per se, it's a confederation, you know, of con countries. There were, you know, multiple kingdoms. Some of them ruled by the people from the Turkish region. We call them in Bani also word come Turk. That that comes from the Turkish. They were the Muslim, but they were the Turkish region. There were people of the Arabic region. There were people of the Persian region. Uh, there there and then there were some Hindu Rajputs. So there were lots of uh, small small kingdoms. But what has happened at the Guru Nanak's time? So all the all the kingdoms. So they have you know, they became very corrupt almost all throughout the India very corrupt and you know very weak also when they when they generally in any civilization when they corrupt 
then they become corrupt, then that makes them weak also. Then, then, you know, then they, they can be vulnerable to external attacks. So Guru Nanak himself describes uh, the situation at that time. Raje shi mukaddam kutte, jaye jagayan bethe sutte. He said the condition of that area is that the kings are, kings are like the lions. They are just pouncing on, on the people. Raje shi mukaddam kutte, that the people that the, who, are the, who are the judges and the law, lawyers that whatever are in that context, they are, they are, they are like the dogs. They are like the dogs sleeping during the daytime. He said that is that is the condition. It's a, it's a pathetic condition at that time, and then even the condition from that is the condition from the political perspective, right? And the condition from the religious perspective was not that very well, which which will will go into later. So that was the kind of the political environment, you know, the overall environment at that time when when Guru Nanak was born. So I hope I answered your question. Uh, yes, thank you for that.